Solid. Hey folks, uh, welcome to the final game of the Student Showcase Slot B and the final game to be showcased today in Tumble. Uh, this is Moira's Home by Ethan Flaker and Bianca Victoria from UCI. All right, did you guys, well, the names have already been listed, but is there anything else that you'd like to mention about yourself and introduction before I ask questions? <laughs> sure, yeah, uh, we can give a quick intro. Um, I, so I'm Bianca. I worked on some of the production and 2D art and like some of the, the rigging of the characters on this game. Uh, so I'm an alumni from UCI. I do a lot of production stuff. Um, as a gamer, I like to play TFT and um, just watch some League esports. Yeah, and uh, so I'm Ethan. Uh, I go by uh, Shadow Jingus online. Uh, I did the programming for this game as well as some of the 2D art as well as like the audio design. So that includes like the music, which I made myself, and then I collected some of the uh, sound effects online. Uh, I'm also a gamer, uh, believe it or not, and in my free time, I like to find uh, weird, obscure games to play. The weirder that is, the more I'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> and I was a big TF2 kid back in the day, so that's it's good to hear how people still play it today. Mention one of the weird games for recommendation. Hmm. Let's see. Well, the um, Yume Niki is a free game on Steam. Uh, it's an yes. all-time classic. Uh, you walk around and there's no dialogue, and that's kind of it. But it's weird and it's <laughs> fun. That's what's important. All right, check out that game after this game, guys. <laughs> right, let's see uh, if we can get to the high scores. I. Didn't, okay, I was wondering what the back button would be. <laughs> <laughs> it's every button. All right, let's let's go. Let's begin the game itself. Uh, Nicolette, how are we looking on the stream? Uh, it is looking. It's still loading. All right, now it's going. Okay, perfect. Aha, gold one. Got it. Wow. Yeah, gotta get the goldies. The animation on this is is really amazing. Who was the one who did that again? Oh, that was me. It was my first time, so it was definitely like first time. Time consuming, but it was worth it. Yeah. Oh, I love the music too. You guys are a really good duo. Like you guys fit a theme so well. It feels like such an original <laughs> art style. I'm glad. Yeah, uh, I do have to give credit to um, Ethan on doing the animations for the furniture. Uh, to be clear, I did more of the character animations, but all the particles and stuff, that's Ethan. Yeah, all the, the um, furniture animation, like getting big and stuff, that's all in engine. And uh, all the other animations are external, right? Um, do you, are you able to explain a little bit of the lore behind this game? I think Bianca's got that covered. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so this was for Anime Expo Chibi, for reference. So the the theme was, I think, Ethan, I, I forgot the it theme. It was whimsical. It was whimsical. Yeah, and then we are like, what if we have a ghost? So then we have a ghost here, Moira, and she has this house on her own. And she loves to just, you know, play there and make the furniture come to life. But these paranormal vloggers came around and they wanted to, to mess around in her house. So now she's trying to scare all of them away. Okay. Wow. I think she okay. really does enjoy it. Uh, just the art of scaring people is, is just a good <laughs> free time for ghosts. Is this a theme that you think it'll stick in? Um, horror? Well, not really horror. This is more fun. This is a fun take on horror. But, um... Yeah, it's a little goofy. Whimsical, one might say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Was it a um, competitive jam or... Was it just to submit your project and then everybody plays each other's projects? Uh, yeah, there was the competition. So the winner would have uh, been at the expo to play their game live. Uh, uh, we were not the winners, but we still had a great time. <laughs> next year, next year. Uh, or this year, yeah. y'all are uh, participating. Uh, how did this game get started? Oh, we already know the jam. Um, but where did, oh, you already said the idea. Wow, you guys have gone through so many of my questions already. Um, <laughs> thinking ahead. Um, how long was this jam? 
So the jam was about a month long. So you, even though it's like, you know, one month, I can be really deceiving. So we definitely made, made it like a goal to like go on Jira and then divvy up the work. There was one week of no, I think not much work on <laughs> coming, but then the last two weeks we grinded it out. Yeah. Oh, totally relate to that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do this one more time. Oh wait, let's listen to the menu theme first. All right. Um, sorry, I got distracted by the uh, the music. <laughs> um, so only a month. So there's one week of, of pause, and I completely relate to that because I, I did like a two month, I think three month jam, and then there was a good two weeks of pause. <laughs> but how did you guys uh, make sure that you stayed on track, and what was the production like for this team? Yeah. So I think I can um, I can talk about that part as the production side. So I think we really just focused on just having the main mechanics out. And I think it also helped that I think both of us were very like self-sufficient and then we took our own initiative. So I think as individuals that, that also helped as well. Yeah, I'll let Ethan also add to that. Yeah, totally. I think um, well, aside from the one week in between, uh, we had a pretty uh, consistent schedule. Uh, we would always communicate so we always knew what we were working on, and Bianca was really good at that time management. Uh, if it was just me on my own, I definitely wouldn't have had anything done. Oh, it's so here's cool. a quick tip. Um, with the little, with the goldies, if you get more at once, uh, it's multiplicative, so your score will be oh, higher. Oh, oh, multiple, oh god. Oh, I see. Yeah, you'll get big, big bucks. <laughs> you get oh, those. wait, 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 wait. No. Use solid. Game Maker, everyone. Game Maker over Unity. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sponsored by anybody, so we're good. <laughs> well, uh, Bianca had more experience with Unity, and since I didn't, I was like, oh, Game Maker, I know for this one. So this is what we went with. Was that your first time in Game Maker? Um, no, I oh, have not you. a previous uh, project. Uh, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... <laughs> what I love about this game is that um, I trust Ethan's programming skills with my life. So I actually didn't pull at all. I did a lot of the, um, it was providing assets. And I was like, Ethan, can you put this in the game? He's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so we having that trust in your teammates, like, you know, full programmer, like full um, production side, I think was a very good compliment. It so it helped out with uh, getting things, getting a timeline working. For oh, sure. for sure. So it seems like you guys will be working on projects again together since you work so well together. <laughs> oh, yeah. definitely. We had a uh, recent project we did together. Yes, I the exact we, we title. were part of another project. <laughs> it was, um, was with more people as well. That is true. It was called... I I just keep calling it... Yeah, My Love Story with a Thief. Right, Ethan? <laughs> it's a very yeah, long title. it was a dating sim. <laughs> Um, do you have plans for this game's future development? Um, we've talked about it before because we think that the core gameplay, right now it's very simple, but we think that there's a lot of room for potential growth, you know, different kinds of furniture, maybe different types of people to scare, different environments, uh, maybe, you know, just things like that. There's a lot of room for expansion, so we definitely talked about it. Yeah, I'd love more rooms and levels. This, this is so unique, I, I don't, in my head, I don't compare it to a lot of things, so, oh, that's a wrap. He's <laughs> 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 nice done it! <laughs> well, live did. on stream, folks! Wow! <laughs> nice job. Try to beat it, if you beat it, uh, let us know in the Discord. Yes, 174,400, I believe. Oh, 440. There it is right there, it flushes at the bottom like a classic arcade cabinet. That's a really good way to incentivize people to replay. Yeah, we should put the score higher next time so that people can <laughs> 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 To be fair, I've played this game like multiple times at this point. <laughs> um, and let's see, what was the most difficult part of development? Hmm. You, you can start with this one, Ethan. All right, yeah. So for me, it was definitely trying to get the um, the timer working right. Uh, for, so, 
I didn't know what delta time was when I first made this, which is basically a way for a game to keep track of actual seconds instead of frames. So the timer at the top actually runs on frames instead of an actual time. And so as a result, if your game lags or something like that, uh, the timer will reflect it. And trying to match that up with the music, like there's a little uh, moment when 30 seconds should have passed, the music changes. But every every time you play the game, it's at a different time because of those slight frame drops or increases. Every copy of this game is personalized. <laughs> yeah, but uh, ultimately I think um, we got it to be pretty consistent in frame rate to the point where that wasn't too much of an issue. But yeah. Oh yeah, definitely very consistent. Good job on that, it ended up working out. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and what part of the game are you most proud of? Hmm. I would say I'm very proud of the animations. Like, I think some of them are, one is the character rigging, but I love that just like paper around the, I, I think the furniture, like that wasn't even really in our like, initial plans. And I'm like, I think it started off with me telling Ethan, Ethan, I can't tell like how far the effect is. And he's like, what should I do? Should I show an area range? I'm like, yeah, just do whatever. And then he made that. And I was like, that's sick. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's. I'm happy that you fit within the, you could have no, put that anything. Was a white circle, and then we're like, we should make it a little more stylish. Yeah. Uh, for me, I would say that um, just the overall charm of the game, I think the, the art and the core game really come together. And I'm, I'm really proud of how that turned out. Yeah, they definitely do. I mean, you could put anything to signify that, but uh, that definitely adds to it. All right, so how has the game changed over time in terms of the original idea? You know, I'd say uh, from base idea to actually running an engine, it stayed pretty consistent. Like, we, we are... The original concept was just, what if we had a ghost and they scared people and that was the game? And it slowly just evolved more than, than uh, changed. Like, let's make the furniture have a funny face on it when they scare people. Or let's have these uh, paranormal investigators look like these over-the-top like caricatures. Things like that. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. And I think it's like, I think it's something to be very happy for because, you know, in production, like, sometimes your ideas don't always come to life. So I think that's also, like, one thing that we're very happy with here. Um, and is there anything else that you'd like a, like to talk about or mention about your game um, before we close close up? <laughs> Anybody would like to shout out, uh, give thanks, uh, that too. thank out, or thank out? Hmm. I would like to thank all our friends for... <laughs> playing this game when we're ever yes, like absolutely check it out they're like yeah for sure and then they're also in stream too so shout out to all of our art club friends if you're in the chat we love you guys thank you <laughs> do you guys have linkedins that you want to drop or ways that people can contact you <laughs> yeah for sure uh so I'm Bianca Victoria on LinkedIn. I'm not sure if I should just paste the link in chat. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. We might. If you can also paste it in our in our Discord, if that doesn't work out for any reason. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Please connect. Okay. I sent it there. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. And then I'm just Ethan Flaker on uh, LinkedIn as well. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll post the... Um, the link in the Discord server as well. All right, cool. Um, I I think I'll end up closing up for this, but it was really cool to see your game. Um, and thank you so much for for showing off for us. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Yeah, thank you. I'm yeah. glad I was able to get a high score this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On stream. Yeah. On stream. All right. Thank you all for joining us for today, for day one of the SGDA 2023 Summit. It's been great having having you all. The panels went well, and we'll see you all tomorrow for some more great panels. And along with uh, MicroTalk, I think tomorrow's a MicroTalk. 
Oh no, uh, Sunday is. We should is. say the time that that starts as well. Yeah. So or tomorrow. Okay. Uh, tomorrow's not happening. My track isn't happening, but mm -hmm. we'll see you all tomorrow for more, um, more panels, more showcases, and yeah. This is at eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. This is SGDA signing off. Okay. Bye.